the right hand is doing the choke. The right hand is the main hand here, but the left hand does have a job. So when I get my thumb in, I want the flat part of my wrist here touching his neck. And as I sit up and drop my elbow down, this cuts into his neck, okay? So my thumb's in here, and you're gonna see in a minute, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna have him block, and you're gonna see why this is important. But then as I come around, you see how my wrist is sliding along his neck, touching his neck, touching his neck, touching his neck, and as I turn it and lock it in, it's already tight, right? That's almost enough to get the choke, okay? Elbow here, thumb in. I'm connecting with my hand. Connecting, 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 connecting. Well, once I get it here, then I rotate it. That's nice and tight. Okay, so that's going to make it easy. Even if you have a bad grip here, once you get here with a tight choke like that, it's going to take very little pressure to finish. Okay, so sliding along the neck. Now let's talk about why. As soon as I go here, he's going to block his neck Don't look, on the other side. He does not want me to get that hand in. You can use both. Like put them right here. Like this, put your hands together. Try and block that out, right? So, if I tried to go in here and get it, there's no way I can choke him, right? He's blocking it out. But, put my elbow on the mat. Notice my feet, very important. My thumb goes behind the ear. He can't really stop me from putting my thumb behind his ear, okay? He can't reach back that far to make any difference. So now it's there. Now, I press my wrist up against his ear. Now watch what happens. Go ahead and block it. So his hands just, it's not a nice, there's no nice way to do this, but watch what happens to Liam's fingers. Grab your ear, Liam. Once my thumb gets in, look what happens. That just peels him right off, takes him off, okay? So now we'll start with the first hand, and he can block with that hand. And put your elbow on the mat. My head's here. If he bridges, my head's here, right? He's always going to be taking me this way because I've got my right hand in. So he's going to try and roll me that way. So as he goes to bridge, my feet are on his body. My hand's here. I have good base. I can post with my head. I get my thumb in. And now as I sit up, I use that, that motion to peel his hands away from his neck with my left arm. Okay, try it back and forth. While you're doing this, I want you to be really mindful of your feet. Make sure you feel that your feet on their body. That's going to be really important as we go, okay? Now that was, we started with the first hand, right? So my knees are underneath the elbows, my feet are on the body, and I already had my first hand in. And then all we did was we battled for the second grip. And if you keep that tight, you see how it's hard to block that, right? So now let's work getting the first hand in. Once I'm here, I'm sitting up a little bit, my feet are on the body. He's not just, don't let me get my hand in. He's not gonna want me to get my hand there. So I'm gonna come up underneath the elbow and just push my arm through like this. Okay, so just lift the elbow a little bit. And I'm not gonna try and get my hand inside his gi, get my fingers in the gi right now. If he's not blocking at all, and he's kind of just, yeah, his hands are away from his body or whatever, I will open up the gi and slide my hand in. Okay, so that's ideal, right? I open it up and take the slack out. My hand comes in and just slides where it needs to be. That's perfect grip. But he's not going to want me to do that. So you're going to be up here. You're going to be working from high mount. Once you're underneath the elbows like this, you can just push up a little bit and push your arm in. Once my arm's here against the neck, then I'll take my fingers and I'll grab. Okay, and now my hand's here for base. He can't roll me this way because my hand's here. I know he's going to try and oopa that way. So my head always stays over here. Try and bridge me that way. I can lift my hips up a little bit. See my feet connected to him. My hand's here. If I have to, if he oopas and I have to, I can post with this arm. But my head's over here. My hand's here. I'm pretty good. And now I'm just working the slack out of Liam's gi. Because a lot of times there's a whole bunch of space right there. And if I tried to choke him right here, even if I drop my pull my arms all the way back, it probably wouldn't work, but I just swallow that up while I'm holding here. So now I know I've got a solid grip, right? And then I'll go in and get the second hand in. Okay, so again, we're here. Just push the elbow up a little bit, and then I'm not trying to, I just put my arm here and I lean forward. I'm just using my body weight here, slide forward. 
once my hand's in, my other hand's here, because he can, gra he can grab that. He's got it. He can bridge me at any time. So my head's over here, my hand's here for base. Now I work my fingers into his gi and take out the slack. Now I have a good grip, right? Now I can arm lock or I can work for this choke, okay? Stiff arm, lean forward, then put your fingers in, tighten it up, and the whole time your head stays on this side and your arm is here for base, and my feet are on his body, always. Okay, go ahead, back and forth. So, first hand in here. Now from here, I'm gonna stay upright. So if he goes to bridge, I can sit up. I'm really focused on my feet. Yeah, keep working, Upa. Good, now I decide to put my second hand in. There's no way I'm gonna try and do that from here. Like this, that's where he's gonna bridge and I'm gonna get rolled right away, okay? So I only put, go for my second hand once I'm touching the mat. So first thing I do is here. Okay, now go to bridge. Nothing, right? Now, when I go to get my hand in, what do I have next? My elbow. Now my head's over here and I'm looking away. So if he bridges, posing with my head, my elbow's on the mat until I get my thumb in. And then in one motion, I sit up quick. And then I can go for the finish. Okay, so that part's very important because if you try and put your second hand in and you don't have that base, you don't have your head or your elbow just off the mat or real low, then you're probably gonna get rolled every time. Okay, so that's what the person has. They're gonna have this arm. They're gonna be big explosive bridges to try and turn you over. So that's, you have to do it in that order. Okay, go ahead, back and forth. Anytime on the bridge and roll, there's a point where he's, structure is so good that he's gonna flip himself over, right? Or he's turned too far on his side, or I realize that the upa is gonna happen. And when that happens, we always transition to side mount. Okay, so this would be the next thing we'd wanna spend quite a bit of time on is, you know, if he goes to bridge and roll and I'm here, well, that's good. If he goes to bridge and roll and I feel like, oh, he's gonna go, well, then I'm here. Transition to side mount. And then this become, this is an awesome position for us as well. And I can choke an arm bar from here just as well. But there's a point in no return where you either transition to side mount and you stay on top or you get rolled. So that's one thing we wanna spend a lot of time practicing. He goes to bridge and roll, just making that transition into that position. Second thing is, what goes hand in hand with the choke is the arm bar. They go together, okay? So the higher he raises his elbows to defend my hand, the more vulnerable his arm is. All I need to do to go for that arm is bring that knee up, right? And then we're, we're in position for the arm lock. So, the whole time I'm here, relax for a second. The whole time I'm here, he's, that's a threat. So we can always bring that up. Anytime I can get my body to the other side of the arm as well is good. A lot of times you can finish with a choke just like that, right? So he's here hanging on tight. I move my belly to the other side. That becomes, so there's so many different ways we can start to play with this. But the main thing to be aware of, I think for you guys right now is transitioning to side mount. That's a super important transition that'll make or break the match. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell for frequent updates because we're updating this every week. And make sure you comment and like and share our videos. We appreciate it and we definitely try and respond to all the comments. And if you like what we're doing and you like the material, check out SPG University, SPGU. Uh, and you're gonna see a ton more uh, in, in much greater depth than what you see here on YouTube. Thank you very much.